Good morning YouTube. Well, you can see the smile and the little twinkle in my eye. Guess what? We're going diving. Teddy, you're not going diving. Sorry. Right, so we're all set up and ready to go. We got everything ready last night. Just waiting for my housemate to get up out of bed. She had a late night. Here she is, all ready to go. We take everything off the A-frame just in case it ends up on the motorway. So all the lights and everything and the radar reflector come off and the and the flare box it all comes off while we're in transit. So let's see what we've got in our uh, our new locker. Let's see what we've got in our new seat locker. So we've got the uh, the dive ladder there, uh, just taken off of its position, which goes in there. Uh, we're all set up there with the anchor. That's always in position. Now in here, these are fiberglass. These tops, very strong. So you take those out and ow and heavy. In this side we've got the Garrett um, Sea Hunter Mark II metal detector. We've got uh, we've got a GoPro mask there with a little GoPro in. We've got some oars, we've got a man overboard boy on that side we move along on this side we've got a uh, fuel tank most important if you want to have a good time um, and in here we've got more cameras uh, accessories GoPro accessories um, all the bits and pieces that you need in an airtight watertight box so that So that is very good use of storage. I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, it just keeps all the clutter off the floor, so you can, you know, you can walk around your boat. Uh, walk all the way around your boat, and there's nothing on the floor. It's fantastic. Well, that won't be on the floor because that'll be on there. But uh, yeah, apart from that, fantastic. Looking forward to it. Uh, another little addition that um, I've put on is this. Uh, spliced eye, good thick rope going down to a D-shackle. Um, really what that's for is to stop the boat. If this um, winch, which it's, it's wound up on the winch and it's secured on the winch, if this winch gave, so it, it you know, the, um, the lock went and it unraveled, then the boat could shoot off straight off the end of the uh, trailer. It has got straps on the back of the trailer as well, but if they were, you know, loose or if they come off as well, um, you could lose your trailer. You could lose the. Uh, you, could, you could lose your dive boat off the back of the trailer. But with this on, obviously, it's not going anywhere. So it's like a, an extra safety device, really. So I recommend anyone with a boat make sure you get one of those. Don't ever rely. Don't ever rely on this ratchet winch extra security here as well because don't forget we're going to be leaving the trailer and the we're going to be leaving the trailer and the van while we go off diving so it's going to be unsupervised and uh, trailers are, are known to disappear from trailer parks uh, near harbors so we've got a nice big uh, lock on there and in the back we've got uh, all our gear, uh, some air, and uh, we've got wetsuit and dry suit for all eventualities. Obviously we've got the flare box in here, all the other bits and pieces. All we've got to do is get some uh, 
diesel on the way and some petrol for the outboard and we're off. So here we are, we're on our way to uh, Foy to uh, launch the boat. Uh, this is the Tamar Bridge, one of Brunel's finest. Weather conditions look fantastic. Apparently it's dead calm. Looking forward to that. Traffic's a bit heavy. A bit of a traffic jam there getting onto the bridge. Well, unfortunately. We stumbled on our first problem. We just turned up at the quay and uh, the barrier's not letting us in. There's an automatic barrier there. Uh, automatic barrier there. But uh, it says it's not in operation. So our only other. So now we have to try Foy Town and try and use this slip there. Right, so the first one was a no-no, it was closed for some reason, on the website it says it's all open again and welcome to boaters and everything, but it was closed, so we managed to turn around anyway, and now we're heading to the only other one, which is across the other side of the estuary, in Foy, at uh, Caffer Mill car park, that's about half an hour to go all the way around, so fingers crossed. That's where we want to be. We need to be in there, in that blue stuff. So we're still heading down to Foy now, down to the quay, to try and use a public slip. We're just hoping we're going to be able to get in. Okay, mate. Right, we've just arrived. And uh, she's a steep one, but it's fairly quiet and uh, there's water, so that's the um, little ferry that goes across the river there. Right, first problem, managed to get a big rope wrapped around the prop. So Jamie's in the water now and uh, untangling it. Oh well, we've got a new rope anyway. <laughs> right, get her off then bud. Wow, no wonder she wouldn't go. So it kept starting up, but then when you put it into gear, that was it, you didn't want to know. You free now? Yeah. Lovely. Well done, buddy. Fucking that soft water from looking. Yeah. Just looking at it. Right, so 
So we're heading out of Foy Harbour, going out to our dive site, undisclosed location. And things are looking good. Right guys, fantastic. 
Have I got snot on my face? No. No, good. No, you're all good. That would be a bad look, wouldn't it? Um, just had a really lovely dive. Met a lot of wildlife down there. Had a little chat with them. Just buzzed around, really, and uh, seen if I could see any artifacts or anything. But uh, I didn't take the metal detector down this time because I had other things on my mind, you know, with other issues to sort out with the boat and everything and the engine. But uh, yeah, really, really nice dive. Um, and there's some good footage for you to see. So I'm absolutely beaming. It's just fantastic. It's been a really, really awesome day. So the first slip that we went to obviously was closed and I thought, oh no, it's going to be a nightmare. But we got into Foy and that was awesome. And you saw us dock the boat in and, uh, and the van pulled straight out. So I was really pleased with that. I was expecting the wheels to spin or something, but straight in and straight out. It was textbook, wasn't it? And uh, lucky I've got my man, Jamie, here to help me. So uh, absolutely awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll be diving very soon. So take care.